Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw tips, tips and Tricks, and this is the Greek pattern. Somebody was having trouble, and they actually had this drawn out. They had it filled in. I took the outline out. And just for your information, if you're watching the video, uh, you've got your nudge distance set on 0.25 by 0.25. I'm going to change them to 0 to 0, and that's my preference. Also have 0 0.001, but that's your preference. That's fine. But this needs to be point or zero zero rotation when you do this. So we're going to select that item and then select our circle and hit T and put it to the top. It happens to be 1.5 inches. So we're going to change our nudge distance to 1.5 inches. We're going to nudge it up that 1.5 inches. Now you've got a kind of a straight spot and a, a curve spot. So I'm going to convert them to a curve. Well, I must have already converted it to a curve. I'm going to grab that part of it and just go straight down and then straight down. Uh, you're not really going to notice a curve on that little bit of it. But on this, you will. So you need to select both these, right-click, and convert them to a curve. And then move this one down. Move this one down. Trying to get as close to the line as you can. And then move this one up so it resembles this curve. Now, and I didn't select the circle. The circle just happens to be perfect, but I did some testing, and I'm going to show you what I did. I'm going to bring in some indexing lines because it's a lot easier to find the center, especially when you're working on this video. So I'm going to select this item, and I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of it. That's why I wanted it zero, 0. I'm going to double-click on it, and I'm going to move my rotation to the center. It doesn't look like in the center, but when you double click on it, sometimes Corel does that with the shape tool if you don't hit that X. I am in the center. I want to manually rotate it till they almost touch. And look at that, we're at 14.7 degrees. If we go to 15, which is divisible by 360, it is a perfect match. Take that one to control D, and this time we need to move it 30 degrees. And now you just hit control D all the way around one more time, click inside your circle to grab your circle and just move it out of the way. Grab all of this and weld it together. That's going to take away that line between the two. And then you can right click, left click on no fill. And there's your Greek pattern around the circle. Now it, it's a little, it could be changed up a little bit. I, I've noticed right here, you could, you could move that node down. Let's just back up here real quick. And you can't really see it on this curve, but it is because of that fact right there that's the space. So you could take this and take your node and grab that one node. And actually, let's do this. Let's con convert this to a curve and bring this down a little bit. And where I've selected both of them, I don't want that. Bring this down a little bit and then maybe bring this up kind of mimicking the curve of the line. I actually had a duplicate there. Let's delete the other one. And I'm not exactly on the line right there, so let's click on it with the shape tool and move that line a little bit. It's kind of hard to tell which line is which line, but that's close enough for the video. But now you've got a little bit of more of a curve shape. And you could do that for all these shapes. Because see here, now we're going to be a little bit off on that one. And I don't remember having this trouble with the first one. Let's select both these. When I, I did this video about a year ago, let's make a little bit of a curve. And you're just going to keep going up the scale. I'm going to look at that later when I finish this video and see what can be done about that. But just control D and make a duplicate. Move your rotation to the center. Double. Double click on it again to make sure it's in the center. And it is. Rotate it our 15 degrees. And just keep going down. If it doesn't move the second time, just hit 30. And then it, Corel for sometimes does that. Have to move it twice. And sometimes it'll do that. It'll just stop. So we're at 315 and we need 15 more. So we're going to go 330. 
but I didn't mean to make a duplicate. I don't know if that's my laptop or Corel itself uh, getting bogged down with too many, too many duplicates. There we go again. Click inside the circle, and that's because I've, you've got it set on treat all objects as filled. Use your weld key. Fill it in with black. Take away the, the outline. Unless you want to cut that out. And that looks pretty good. You know, it's it's a curved item on a square item. It's kind of hard. But that does look a little bit better. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.